Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I got a couple of emails about engines not starting after they hit something <clears throat> whether it be a walk behind or a bigger, this is a 12 and a half horse now I'm stripping this one for parts because it threw a rod but I don't have a hole in the block anywhere so I'm thinking I'm gonna pull the bottom off and see if I can just put a rod in here and maybe buff the crank and have a good engine but first <clears throat> I've had an email the last one I got was from I believe it was pronounced Dara but I'm not sure if it's from her or her husband using her phone which happens a lot when I get emails so I'm, I'm never really sure what name to say <clears throat> but anyway they're concerned that their key got crimped somehow and that's why the engine is not starting or he said it's kicking back really bad when he pulls the rope to try to start it <clears throat> So we're going to pull this off and show you where the key is that's between the flywheel and the crankshaft. That key is what times the engine so it will start. Um, they don't have to get sheared if they're just crimped a little. Sometimes uh, it's a square key and sometimes when it it gets a jolt all it'll do is just twist the key a little bit and that is enough to throw the engine off and not run <clears throat> so we're gonna pop this one off and uh, all of them are different I'll show you how this one comes apart they're basically all held together the same way some of them have different components on the top of the flywheel you have to get off before you can get the flywheel off but let's pull this one off and I'll show you where the key is I got I just took the shroud off we're just gonna pop off this little cap they put in there to keep the crap out of the top of the engine or out of this little cup where the bolt is and <clears throat> This is going to get noisy because I'm going, to use, I'm going to use an impact to take this bolt out. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's stick that down there in that shelf. It did have Loctite on it, it looks like. So you take all this stuff off takes this fancy little cover off and there are two threaded holes now if they're <clears throat> if it's a pretty rigid looking this is a pretty rigid looking flywheel in the past I've used a big wheel puller if you can get it on here but this is enclosed so much that I don't think I can get a wheel puller on here to pull this off but you do stand the risk of breaking the flywheel by using just a standard three-fingered or two-fingered uh, wheel puller to get these off. There, there's two holes drilled and tapped right here and that is what they're meant for is to pull this flywheel off of here. Now that I see what this one looks like I'll go get my puller and hook it up. Okay, I went over and got my puller. This is just what they call a standard steering wheel puller for a car. Nothing fancy about it. You get the puller and you get an assortment of different size bolts. Whichever fits into your uh, particular job you're doing. We'll go out back that out a little bit. Now this one does come with, I've mentioned this before, a cup that the end of the rod goes into and kind of acts as a bearing and so it doesn't go down inside the crankshaft and mess up your 
threads in case we can put this thing back together. I don't want to screw anything up on it. And we'll screw them in there about half inch or so. And we'll tighten up the center and see what happens. Well, that didn't take much at all. Popped her right off of there. Now, of course, I got the magnet there by the coil, so that makes it hard to lift it off. And this is a stator. And our key, naturally, is stuck in the flywheel, so we're going to have to take this off. It's not much of a key, it's just most of them are a piece of aluminum. They're meant to shear if you hit something. And this one is a piece of aluminum too. There's not much to it. They're just a, a small piece. I don't know what they are. 180 by 140 thousandths. They're almost square. And that's it. They're, we can tell you they're 550 thousandths long. It's not much, but you don't want it to be so solid where if you hit something it's going to shear or do damage to your crank or your flywheel. So these are made to uh, just shear off and uh, a lot of times they don't shear completely. If when you pull it out and look at it you'll see a crease down both sides and it'll look like there's a step there. That's where it started to shear it off but it stopped and uh, you just pop a new one in put the flywheel on <clears throat> now when you put that flywheel back on <laughs> years ago I had to replace one in a small rider I had and I ended up I think the fourth one I put in it I borrowed a impact gun to tighten this nut up after I got it on there because when this thing starts, there's so much torque. If this isn't tight enough on this taper, the crank will take off and the flywheel won't. Just for a split second. And that is just enough to crimp this so it throws your timing off and your engine won't start. So then you got to tear the whole thing apart and put a new key in it. So if you do have to put a key in yours, buy two. <laughs> you may need them, <laughs> but really tighten that up good, and you shouldn't have a problem uh, with it shearing the second time. But that's it. <clears throat> uh, kind of short. Just wanted to uh, let them know how to change this out. Now, he did mention something about wanting to sh uh, switch his over from a rope to a starter. Let me drop this camera down. If you can find a starter for yours, uh, you might want to go to a boneyard where they or a, a engine repair place where they're tearing engines apart because uh, the starters are expensive. They're 60, anywhere from 60 to $150 for a starter for a lawnmower. <clears throat> and the flywheels will be more expensive because they've got the ring gear on it for the starter to mesh into. And this one kind of looks like it's a, a separate piece like my truck was when I put a new flywheel on that, or starter ring they call it, uh, to get these off. 
you have to heat them up and this thin ring on here will expand from the heat and it'll come off of there and that's how you put the new one on you put the flywheel upside down you heat this ring up and you just drop it on there and when they cool to the same temperature you're never going to get them off unless you reheat it but <clears throat> starters uh, they're all you can see where this one's got two bolts here and it's got one down here in the bottom you'll have to get the correct starter to bolt onto your block and the right flywheel to put on the top of the engine because flywheels are different what makes them different is not only the size but the amount of magnets that are inside of the flywheel that's what spins around your stator and gives you power when your engine's running if you get a flywheel with just two magnets in there I don't know what kind of current you're going to get out of this stator but not much let's see this one's got this one's got a dozen magnets in it I've seen some that's only had two and that's uh you can barely charge your battery with that with a stator that small so I hope that's answered your questions if you have any more please put them in that description box below or send me an email and I'll get back with you uh, if you're not subscribe subscribers and thumbs up really help me out uh, I've got a lot of um, videos out there I want to spread out for other people to see and that's what helps spread the videos around is the number of subscribers you have the numbers of views that you have and the thumbs up they don't tell you how many of each you just gotta see what happens I got over a half a million views and uh, not very many subscribers so some of you guys out there that are viewing hit that button it's free to subscribe if you don't have an email account they will ask you to create one and that is free the only reason they ask you to do that is if you want there's a little bell next to the word subscribe if you touch that bell then every time I upload a video you'll be notified so you can watch it if you don't want to be bothered don't touch that bell but please subscribe I could really use the help and as always work safe have fun and we'll talk to you soon